This video will show you how to get started using the Horseless Carriage Club of America's Gazette database. The database contains a record for each edition or issue of the magazine going right back to 1938, volume one, number one. So when you first run the program after installing it on your computer, then you can, uh, you'll be faced with looking at one of the issues, most likely the last issue, or the, the most recent issue that's been entered. So here we are looking at November, December, 2022. The database screen, each record represents one magazine and each record is divided into these parts. The top portion up here shows you the information about the front cover, the back cover and the center spread. Sometimes the most picturesque parts of the magazine. Underneath there is a section for photos where there's a listing of each photo in the magazine that shows a pre-1916 vehicle or else something else related to those vehicles. And you can scroll up and down or use your mouse wheel to roll up and down um, to look at all of the articles and or all of the photos. And these are sorted according to the year of the vehicle. So you can quickly look down and see what if there's a 1910 Thomas Flyer in this article or not. Further down is a section for the articles, and it's similar. Each article in the magazine has an entry that tells you the name of the article, the author, the page, and it fits into what if it fits into one of these categories or one or more of these categories, there'll be checkboxes there. So this tells me this is an obituary for one of our members. And there may be some article notes here. So the cover car story, Beauty and the Beast, a little bit of notes here tells information about that particular vehicle. And it's a feature article and it's historic, historic information in it as well. So that's basically the three main parts of this record. There might be some further information listed down here about this, this particular issue. Over on the right hand side, you see the cover and the table of contents. And if you want to see a better view of it, you can click on this image and it will show you a larger image. And to get out of here, you click on this image again and it takes you back. Uh, it tells you also who was the president that year and who was the editor of this particular magazine. Underneath these two items, it says view in browser. And if you click on this button, it will open up the image in your browser. Sorry, it will open up the magazine as a PDF file in your browser. Also, these blue arrows will do the same thing. They will open up the magazine in a browser window and take you directly to this particular page. So this item is on page 30. If I click this blue arrow, I'll have to, it will take me to this magazine and to page 30. Sometimes there is a bit of a pause while it finds page 30, but it will get you there. Also, it's possible that some browsers don't act the same as others. There are many different browsers out there now. So if your browser behaves a little bit differently, then, then uh, it may not have, it may have some problems finding the page number. But for the most common browsers, it seems to be working just fine. As well on this page, uh, you can uh, click on these little check boxes here, which adds it to this particular item to a collection of bookmarks that you can refer to later on using the bookmark button up here. And there's another video about using those. These buttons across the top here, uh, right now we're looking at all the photos and articles, but if I'm just interested in the photos of this magazine, if I click on photos, then it's the same thing, except I see a larger, longer list of the photos. It's a little easier to work with what's there. Likewise, if I'm just interested in the articles, it's a little easier to find the article if I'm listing, looking at the list of just articles. So that's what those three buttons are do. I can look at all photos or articles. And here I can click on go to, to go to a different itch edition of the magazine. So if I want to go back to the first one or the most recent one, that's what these two buttons are for, or a particular volume or year. So suppose I'm interested in 1975, 1975, and then I click here and I press um, issue, issue number three. And then I say go now. It will take me to 1975, May, June. I could also have done that with the volume number. Uh, this is volume 37. So I could have typed 37 in there and then the issue number and said go now. And one more little hint, the enter key 
will move me from here to here to here. So a very simple way to do it, if I want volume 22, press enter, issue number four, press enter, and that's it. I don't even have to click any further. Uh, those are the important things for getting around. Important to note is that you should never change these two numbers right here, the volume and the number. These are set for this particular issue. And if you start making changes, you're going to end up with things that aren't accurate. Now, it is possible to change anything in this database. And you might want to enter in your own notes. Perhaps you find this is something particular and uh, you wanted your database to have some notes here. So you can enter in your notes for this article or your notes about this cover. That's all fine. Uh, maybe you have can re-identify some of these other vehicles. Maybe you know what year this Excelsior motorcycle is. So you could enter in your own information here. When you do that, it's all saved in your database, but it doesn't change anyone else's database. So it's not going to change the main database. You can change these things as much as you like and not have to worry about messing up anything for anyone else. But you don't want to change these two numbers here, the volume and the issue number. And in fact, if you try to change them, you'll get a message saying that they're locked and you can unlock it, but you shouldn't. Those are the main things about using the getting started with the database. There is a button here that says view all. And if you click on one of these, it will take you to a listing of all of the photos or articles or covers in the entire database. So if I click here on photos, now it takes me to a list of all of the photos. And up here it tells me there are 23,616 of them. That's a long list. So you're going to need to know how to search to find out how to get to the stuff that you're looking for. But searching is another video, so I'm going to leave that for later. I'm going to go back to my data, data entry. You just need to be aware right now that you can view these lists and make your way through them as you want to. There are some important buttons up at the very top here. Really important is this number. This number tells you how many records you're looking at right now. And in this database, there are 465. That's all of the issues up to December 2022. But once you get into sorting, you'll be looking at a group of issues. You might sort it down to so there's only 10 issues that you're looking at. And that's what this number here shows you, is how many are in the group that you're looking at. These arrows here will move you from record to record. So I can back up or go forward to the next issue, next issue, next issue. This slider will take me further along. And I sort of a fast way of moving through the issues. And down at the bottom in red, there's a note. It says you can also use the shift key plus the arrow left or right to move between records. So rather than click, I can just hold shift and go right arrow, next record, right arrow, next record, right arrow, next record. It's another way to move between the records. Remembering that each record is an issue of the Gazette. These buttons across here, you probably will never use, uh, but delete a record, you should be aware, will remove this particular record for this issue from your database. You don't necessarily want to do that. Find is involved with searching. That's fairly advanced, and uh, I'll do a video on that later, but you can use it if you want. Sort will allow you to sort records according to any field you want, but it's not likely to be used very much. We have other, other ways of sorting for you. And the help button here. The help button will take you to a listing of videos. Right now, as of today, there are just two videos in here, but there will be more probably by the time you see yours. And so you can click on here to view a video. It's a YouTube video and it shows in your browser. And you could even email a help request. If you're finding something that doesn't make sense <clears throat> or you're finding that uh, something is wrong, if you click on this, then it opens the email screen and you can type a message in here. You can type your address in there so, and your name so that we can return a message to you. But in order to do this, you need to know something called your internet provider's SMTP address. It's on your computer in the, your email is set up to use this email address. It's for sending outgoing mail um, and every internet provider has a different address. So you would need to open this up uh, your email and find out that information once you put it in here it'll be saved in your database and you won't have to worry about it again but uh, it will need to be there if you want to use the email feature 
Once you've got that in there and the address and the message, you click on send email and it will go directly to us and we can answer your questions that way. Click on done for that. <clears throat> Those are the important things for getting started with uh, the database. There will be more to come, but you're welcome to take a look at it and encouraged to take a look at it and start browsing around and seeing what information of interest is there. There's an exit button right here, uh, which makes sure you close the file completely. It's wise to use that. So I click on exit and I say OK, and then I'll be out of there. And that's it for now for getting started on the Horseless Carriage Club of America's Gazette database.